Once upon a time... Modern dating, it's not working. A young woman began a quest for true love. We're in a fairy tale. You've been transported back in time. When I was watching this episode, it felt like it was my own life played out in a castle. <laughs> I, like you, am single, <laughs> trying to date in this modern world. And it's all, of course, these dating apps and swiping. So what made you decide to join a reality television show to find love? <laughs> I love that you said that you feel like me because I, I feel like this is so relatable. Like all of us right now, we're trying to date during a pandemic, you know, that's already difficult. And then also we're trying to date over apps, which like, you know, it's superficial. It really is. You're swiping yes. left and right and you're trying to find somebody to date based off of just a quick note about them and a photo. And it's like, mm -hmm. we're not even giving a chance to people that maybe we would have given a chance to otherwise. So the whole premise of the show is really just taking a step back, taking those distractions out, and really finding those deep connections. And for me, that's why I was like, okay, I'd be willing to date on TV if it meant that, you know, I could form deeper connections. More etiquette and being proper and chivalry. I'm loving this. A journey. You find that dating in the 1800s, it's easier than dating in the 2020s. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say easier. I mean, I'm wearing a full length ball gown trying to play games outside with the guys. That's not normal, right? Um, right? But I will say that what it allowed me to do was take a step back and make things a little bit more simple. Focus on things like chivalry and courtship and romanticism and sort of just like lean into this fantasy. And I noticed how involved your family is in picking out your suitors. Is that something that they were doing for you before you joined the show? <laughs> Oh gosh, no. No, it's so funny. I've actually never done boy talk with my parents before. So this is all new for me, very out of my comfort zone. But what I was so grateful for was that, you know, they reminded me of who I am and what I'm looking for. And they love me unconditionally. And so their help and advice was amazing. And they helped pick out some of the dates, which was great too. But at the end of the day, it was my decision. And they really supported me in whatever I decided to do. I did notice that you sent home the two guys from Miami. So do you see what I'm dealing with here? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you know what? You have two amazing guys in your community now. Okay. Sorry. I can't, I can't dance right now. I know what's going on. I know that you're not here for me. I came on the show to find love and I feel like I found that the connections that I made were so deep and I made multiple deep connections and I'm really happy about that. To find out if that true fairy tale ending happened, you'll have to stay tuned, obviously. But I think at the end of the day, I found that love for myself and that gratification in knowing that I'm my own person, I'm independent and I can make those decisions. Well, I'm so happy to hear that for you. I really do hope that you found love and I can't wait to follow your story more. Nicole Remy, thank you so much for joining us on NBC Aww. Six in the Mix.